Hello again. Um, we are going to look at pre-algebra lesson 63 today, which is on page 279 in your book. Um, so the last two lessons were pretty simple for the most part. Today is going to be a little bit more complicated. Um, so I'll definitely go through it with you. And we're going to talk about undoing equations with negatives in them. We've undone a lot of algebraic equations. Um, it's going to be the same concept, but just a little bit different with negatives. There's a few shortcuts. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do our first example here that your book gives you, which is involving um, undoing a subtracted negative. Okay, here's our example, x minus negative three equals eight, okay? This is our equation that they give us. They would like for us to solve it. So there's two different things that you can do. First, you can, um, let's see, add, sorry, I was looking to see what the book said was the first method. The first thing you can do is add a negative three to both sides, which would be the opposite here because we're subtracting, so we want to add, right? So what we're going to do first is to add negative three to both sides. Sorry. All right. Once we do that, we're going to have just x by itself on the left and eight plus negative three is going to be five. Okay, so our answer would be x equals five. Now, there is an easier way. That was the first way. Um, the second way is that um, when you're subtracting a negative, um, that's really, subtraction is really the same thing as adding the opposite of a number. So as we talked about, every number has an opposite. So negative three's opposite would be positive three. So you can also consider x minus negative three the same thing as x plus positive three, adding its opposite, okay? That might not make sense just yet, but what I always used to tell myself in school was when I see minus a negative, I would literally take my pencil and make it plus positive, okay? So that's gonna make your equation a lot simpler to start with. So if that helps you, you can definitely do that. If not, stick to this way, whichever way is better for you. Everybody's different, but this is a good little shortcut. So when you see minus a negative, you're going to use your pencil and just make it plus positive, make both of these positives. So your equation really looks like this. That looks a lot simpler, doesn't it? So now at this point, we would just subtract three from both sides. And once we do that, we'll have X by itself on the left and eight minus three, which is five. So as you can see, we still get the same answer, okay? But the thing to remember is when you see minus a negative, change it to plus positive. Okay, so x minus negative three, same thing as x plus three. All right, go ahead and flip over if you're following along to page 280. Now we're going to talk about undoing an added negative. Okay, the example they give us is x plus negative five equals seven. Okay, so method one, we're gonna stick with the regular method. So we're adding here, we need to do the opposite to undo that, which means we need to subtract. So we're gonna do subtracting negative five. Okay, once we do that, we have x by itself on this side equals seven minus negative five. 
Well, remember what we just talked about. When you see minus a negative, change it to plus a positive. So really you're gonna have seven, you have seven minus negative five or seven plus five, plus positive five. That means X equals 12. Okay, let's talk about the other way that you can do this. All right. So instead of subtracting negative five, bear with me, sorry, rewrite the equation for you there. Okay, so instead of uh, subtracting negative five to get X by itself, you can just add positive five. Okay, wouldn't that be the same thing? Remember minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive. So we can just add the opposite number, okay? That's perfectly legal to add the opposite number to both sides. So we're just gonna add five instead of negative five to both sides, which would give us X by itself on this side and seven plus five or 12 on the other side. So when you see adding a negative number, instead of subtracting that negative number, to get the x by itself, just add the positive number, okay? You can add the opposite number and that's perfectly legal. Either way though, again, I say, if the first method works better for you, feel free to do that. Whatever is easier and makes more sense to you, that is the method you choose. So we've got two methods for undoing a subtracted negative and two methods for undoing an added negative. Um, and, that's it for today. So as always, if you have any questions, um, don't understand something, please feel free to reach out to me and hope to see you Monday.